Hello again and welcome back to my M14 how-to page. Today we're going to be talking about the Springfield Armory uh, Incorporated Bolt Roller Impact Defect and exactly what it is and how to fix it. Okay so what we have here today is a Springfield Armory rifle. Uh, this rifle was built in uh, November of 1994. It has a Winchester GI bolt and for the most part uh, GI parts. Um, now what the ro bolt roller impact defect is uh, when you hear people talk about it, it's going to be when this bolt roller here impacts the the bottom of the receiver right over here. Okay, and how you test to see if it is well, for one, you can just rotate your bolt back, and you can look right over here, and you can see a little shiny spot where the bolt has been the bolt roller has been hitting the receiver. Now, why you want to take care of this? is because after a lot of rounds of firing what can happen as the bolt roller uh, hits the receiver you can see it's got stress on it you can't actually turn that wheel okay and that's going to take some un unnecessary stress from the impact of, of of cycling okay and that's something you really don't want to have now there's also a second area to note okay is uh, is right here okay you'll see also that there's a shiny spot right here on the receiver where when the bolt roller comes back okay uh, if you push up on the bolt roller you'll see that it can actually uh, hits the receiver right there at that spot so that shiny spot indicates that this bolt roller is hitting the receiver okay and the, if you send this back to Springfield Armory well chances are if you call them and you talk to them they're gonna say that it's a uh, an acceptable thing and that it doesn't affect function and they're going to ask you if uh, if you're getting uh, any kind of uh, function issues or whatever um, I've never personally heard of anybody actually sending their receiver or their rifle back to Springfield Armory and Springfield Armory actually doing anything about it now it doesn't mean that Springfield Armory is junk um, I love this rifle it does have the defect and it's very minor but what can happen is over time is this bolt roller can get worn out and it can fall off and that'll ruin your day on a range day because then you actually will be out of commission your rifle will not function and you'll have to get the bolt roller replaced now it's relatively cheap but it's still a hassle and it's something that I don't think anybody should really need to go through if they don't have to okay now how you can also test the bolt roller to see if it's hitting is you get this little piece of paper and you just want to put it right here over or right underneath the bolt roller and push down on the bolt roller all the way as hard as you can and you'll see right here that I can't pull the paper out okay so it is sandwiching the piece of paper between the receiver and it shouldn't do that now what I'm going to demonstrate to you I have right here a uh, this is an LRB receiver okay uh, with a uh, with a TRWGI bolt and we're going to run the same test on it okay so we're gonna if you notice there's nothing there is no mark here on the on the cutout for the bolt lug so what we're gonna do is you're gonna put this piece of paper right underneath the bolt roller and you're gonna press down as hard as you can and you can see that the paper slides in freely it doesn't catch at all so it, it, it doesn't catch on the bolt the, the roller at all now if you rotate it and you shove it all the way in obviously it's gonna catch but it's not catching on the bolt lugs it's catching on or it's not catching on the roller it's catching on the bolt lugs so make sure it's only underneath the roller because that's what we're testing okay and you're also going to see right here that as I push this bolt all the way back um, it never contacts the receiver okay and it's the same deal I can I can move this paper in and out and it never it never uh, gets caught on the bolt roller so this is a properly milled receiver with the proper relief cutouts for the bolt roller okay so what I like to do is I'm gonna get this uh, little Dremel bit the reason why I chose this particular bit is it's roughly the same size it's roughly the same uh, width and diameter as my bolt roller okay and all I'm gonna do is just gently hit that area of the receiver with the Dremel but obviously you want to be very careful with this don't go crazy on it just take off enough metal to clear the bolt roller of the receiver now this is gonna re this is gonna remove the surface hardening so um, so just be aware of that 
Uh, however, it's in a low stress area. Um, a lot of uh, M14 specialty gunsmiths will do this modification and uh, they usually use some kind of a file or maybe even a Dremel. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, thanks to uh, a well-known gunsmith out there on the internet um, that, uh, who used to be in the Marine Corps rifle team, he's the one who wrote up the original post um, on what the bolt roller impact defect was and I'll tell you how to fix it. We're just going to go real slow here. So I just took a little bit right there off of the receiver. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, where's my piece of paper here? I get this piece of paper, put it back underneath the roller, push down, and it still contacts So I think I need to take a, a little bit more off this forward portion over here. Again, just go very, very slow. And if you need to, just rotate it where you can see it. And so it looks like I need to, I've gone deep enough but it looks like I just need to go a little bit wider, okay? So that's what I'll do, is just go a little bit wider. Okay, so what I've done right now is I went ahead and I used a, uh, you know, a cold blue pen and I just hit that area because there's still somewhere it's still catching just slightly and I have to figure out where it is. So I just went ahead and I put that cold blue pen, uh, hit, hit it with a dab, darken things up. Now I'm going to just uh, kind of roll my bolt roller in place and see if I can rub off some of that. And it looks like it's, I just need to come in a little bit farther than I have been and that might take care of it. Okay, the, the cold blue pen didn't work too well, so what I ended up doing was using uh, just a, a Sharpie, okay, and I blackened it up again, put the bolt roller in there, give it a, a good turn, a couple of turns there, and uh, so it looks like I just have just a little tiny area right here to clear. So pretty much just trial and error, you just take a little, take a little bit off until, uh, until it stops rolling. So pressing as hard as I can, I can still, I can barely stick a piece of paper in there. So let me just hit it one more time. Hopefully that did it. Yeah, that basically did it right there. So finally, I have proper clearance for my bolt roller. Now the paper still gets hung up, but actually no, it goes all the way in. So there you have it. That is how you fix the bolt roller defect uh, for the Springfield Armory Rifle. Again, um, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I highly suggest you don't. Uh, take it to a gunsmith, take it to a uh, M14 specialist, tell them you want the bolt roller channel cleared out a little bit um, so that you're not, uh, you know, so that your bolt roller doesn't get in, uh, impact it anymore. Again, once you're, do, once you're done, you just want to get a cold blue pen. Um, you can get it usually just about any sports sporting goods store and you're going to want to blacken up that area. 
And not, again, keep in mind, you just took off the surface hardness, but it's okay. It's in a low stress area. As long as you don't touch uh, the, uh, the contact areas of the receiver where the bolt lugs contact, that's what you want to make sure you don't touch. But uh, as far as this portion of the, of, the, uh, of the receiver goes, you should be just fine. So just hit it with the cold blue, wipe it off, and make sure you keep that area lubricated uh, completely. And there it is once it's all finished. Okay. Again, now I can rotate my bolt, and I can um, I can spin the bolt roller wheel without any resistance while holding it closed. Before I could not do this at all. Okay. So there you have it. Um, people have said before that they've done this modification, and they've sent the uh, there's into Springfield Armory for repair and they never said a word about it. It didn't void the warranty. Um, however, again, uh, make sure before you before you do this uh, that that's a risk you want to take. Um, I personally don't think that they will void the warranty for this as long as this isn't the problem uh, that you're having. Uh, now as far as the other area goes, let's go ahead and, uh, and address that issue.